is that visible ma'am yes okay done 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 thank you thank you so many people are there with me to support good now see i'm going to any any anywhere like suppose i want to add a quiz here and then i can drag it i can change the the sequence of these things easily so what i'm doing is i am going to add activity and resource so at present what we are doing because we need to work on the course creation first so let us add a quiz first then we'll add the users because once our course is done only then there is a there is some importance or there is a worth of adding the users so let us add the users first so what i'm going to do is uh, let us add the quiz first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a quiz so add a quiz means go to add activity and resource go to quiz search for the quiz first okay here is the quiz i click on quiz this is a you can see the icon there is a tick mark and there is a folded page from the edge and see the read the quiz activity enables a teacher to create quizzes comprising questions of various types including multiple choice matching short answer numerical at present i am sharing with you the way how multiple choice can be added the teacher can allow the quiz to be attempted multiple times with the questions shuffled randomly means the questions can also shuffle randomly like uh, row number 1 or person 1 will have a question at uh, number 1 and the same same question will appear at number 5 for someone else time limit can also be set and what is time limit time limit means that if you start attempting if you start attempting a quiz like if you have taken up a quiz you have got only those minutes that have been allowed by the teacher or the administrator of the course that once you open the quiz within 10 minutes you have to answer all the questions each attempt is marked automatically with the exception of essay questions essay type questions if they are in the same quiz like uh, in when we add things in google form we make it multiple choice check box and then true and false yes no short answer paragraph the same way though and uh, in a more advanced manner we can add uh, an essay type question to it we can add a short type uh, question to it that we will see the type of questions are there and you see quizzes may be used where can we use them we can use them for course exams for mini tests we can use them as exam practice we can use them for for delivering immediate feedback about the performance and these quizzes can also be taken up taken by students prepared by you shared by you for self assessment so this is the purpose of quiz here it is clicked on quiz and quiz is getting added so what i am adding i am adding the module the quiz module is being added how it will work what questions will come is a a thing that will come later so general question general quiz adding a quiz what is the name of the quiz i can say it is a quiz 1 trial because we are doing a trial you can write a subject we can make it uh, english or uh, suppose we want to show it as introductory and then i can give a description of the quiz also description can be at attain to the lecture shared via url suppose a url is there above it like one module is there of url add activities there of url and then what you are doing is you are asking them just to go back if they have missed it and attend to the lecture shared by url and answer these question this is an instruction so this is an this is an important instruction so what i decide to do i'll say i'll display it okay done now please see what we are doing is we are just giving settings to the quiz module we are not adding questions dear friends we are not adding questions so you are following me okay you are with me then nice like uh, i just we need to check whether everyone is there okay now what i have done i went to add activity and resource and means i went to a topic where i want to add this then add activity and resource added the quiz added a name to the quiz gave a description to it decided to display the description on the course page my choice i am deciding then i click on timing now open the quiz like the quiz will be open okay students can only start their attempts after the open time they must complete their attempts before the close time quite quite valid i'll say fair that's fair so 
it will start on 12th and the time is 12.25 let's start it at 12.40 okay 12.45 close the quiz I'll say close the quiz in June no that would not be fair close the quiz on 13th of May 12.23 or you can make it exactly that way this time limit is what what is time limit now this is what i had mentioned to you time limit is if you enable the time limit it means that the page will get a countdown timer and it will be displayed in the navigation block for the student also like on the right hand side there is a navigation block where the student can go from one question or another question the student can see that this is the time that is left for me so how many suppose we are giving them five questions so why like let's give them only four minutes within five minutes within 10 minutes within 60 minutes within 30 20 minutes within five minutes now when time expires suppose the time has expired time means like uh, this is setting means that the student fails to submit their quiz attempt before the time expires now if the student is actively working on the quiz at the time and then the countdown timer will always automatically submit the attempt like suppose once you have taken up the the quiz and the countdown timer has started what does it mean it means your attempt is getting submitted if the time gets over whatever you had done till then it will get there but if they logged out then this setting controls what happens suppose they did not submit it so open attempts are submitted automatically there is a grace period when open attempts can be submitted but no more questions can be answered like they can submit it but you won't allow them to 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 give more uh, you say answers attempt more questions attempts must be submitted before time expires or they are not counted time means they have to be submitted within those five minutes if they have attempted something it is still open then these permissions they do matter so what i'm doing is open attempts are submitted automatically let's go student friendly submission grace period are you giving them we are not going because here if you select this then the grace period is one day because if they keep it open even after one day they can submit it but they won't be able to answer the questions Let, let's keep it open attempts and submit it automatically now what is grade grade it is uncategorized we haven't done anything of grading now what how much is required to pass if it is a five marks uh, quiz then i'll say three marks are minimum for everyone to pass attempts are allowed or not how many attempts you want them to to take generally when we people are using uh, the online courses like uh, I did a course on course era recently the number of attempts they gave me to attempt a quiz were two in every 24 hours so here we can decide this thing whether you want to give them one try two or unlimited they will keep on trying till they want to submit the final thing so they, they will get an option to submit it finally so let's give them two attempts at least now layout question behavior layout i'm not mentioning but we, i can i can show you this thing the every question will be on new page or every five questions will appear on one or all the questions on one page let's make it all the questions on one page means they need they need not click on next as you saw on my course that after every four questions they were required to click on next next page next page uh, so i'm keeping all questions on one page now navigation method is free or sequential it is free they can they can navigate from wherever they want to so when sequential navigation is enabled a student must progress through the quiz in order and may not return to previous pages so but we have got uh, all of them on one page so this is not applicable now layout done so what is there in the quiz thing to revise we have added a quiz to topic one add activity and resource gave it a name gave a description decided the timing to open decided the timing to close gave it a time limit also that within five minutes they have to attempt it decided that one attempt uh, the open attempts will be submitted automatically did not give a grace period we have given three at least three marks uh, points are required out of five attempts two are allowed they can try for one highest grade will be counted 
average will be counted first grade or last attempt so you can tell them like uh, it will be shown to them when they are taking that average will go suppose one person scores 8 and then one person scores in the second trial 10 so that goes to 18 and the person ends up getting 9 out of 10 that way so average grade can also be there that is your choice let's keep it highest grade layout question behavior the question behavior says shuffle within questions i'll say yes shuffle the questions now click here and we can read it read means that the shuffled each time a question a, a student attempts the quiz so these things will be randomly shuffled so this is what we do generally i'm not changing all these things now just keeping them as they are restrict access no let's keep it open make it friendly don't make it a cage for them and let's save and return to the course rather than display so that i can show you how it looks see now this is the quiz and still the turn editing on is there attend to the lecture shared via url and answer this question suppose this is the lecture the label and then this is here so they see this and they play this and they watch this and then do this this is possible and what is inside this is the quiz now this is the quiz module added these are the specifications attempts allowed to quiz will not be available until 12 may 1245 the time is 1231 and you can see i cannot attempt the quiz it is not possible at 1245 i can show you that i can attempt the quiz before that i believe we'll be able to add the questions so till now till now topic one add activity quiz giving it uh, giving you say i can i can show you giving names to the name description to the quiz deciding the timing of the quiz deciding the grading or the layout and the question behavior of the quiz if there is any doubt please drop it in the chat after this thing i'm moving on to add a, one question at a time like if you do not have the the notepad ready or you just want to add two or three questions and you can add them manually also i'll show you how to add them manually because that's a part of our agenda you can post it if you people are done with it if 50 percent of you are fine with it i can i can move on to add the questions individually and add the questions in bulk now this is the question and here i can click and edit settings but i'm not doing it let me click here attempts are allowed to no questions have been added 1236 so edit quiz from here or here i'm i'm asking you people to opt for this particular thing this one like and and you know that this has been this gear is something that within these two days you must have got a very good feel of it now i click here what are the options now the options are if you can see all the options if you people can see edit settings group overrides user overrides edit the quiz if i click on edit the quiz what comes you can see i can edit the quiz this way i can add questions add a new question from question bank a random question and what i want to do at present is i don't want to preview it i don't want to see the results the grades responses statistics grading I don't want to look at all these things. I don't want to take a backup of this quiz because if I take a backup of the whole quiz, I can upload the same quiz on any other Moodle based uh, site. At present, I want to import the question bank. Import, I M P O R T, as we people are importing all the Indians who are who are there in other countries just because of their safety and the world turning into a small world. Let me go to the edit settings no edit quiz no let me edit the quiz let's edit the quiz and see what is there nothing so because nothing because there are no questions so what you do is you click on edit quiz and then you will see how you can add individual questions you click on edit quiz and because no questions are there so it says nothing zero questions are zero quiz closed opens at this time i click on add everyone i click on add and how i've reached here is through edit quiz i clicked on the quiz module i clicked on edit quiz and then i have reached here 
maximum grade is 10 sometimes in your you might give them 25 questions and you want them to attempt any 20 so if they attempt 25 how much how many marks they will get and if one mark is allotted to every question they are going to end up getting 25 but you can put it here this is the cap because in our question papers also we give them multiple choice we give them choices between questions so if they attempt both doesn't mean they are going to get 120 marks so you can set maximum grade you can maximum is 10 and then you save it add a question new question manually adding one question what type of question do you want to add so dear learners how i have reached here is i have reached here by editing the quiz let me show you this thing again because this is a very significant thing for you go here edit the quiz add new question what type of question you want to add let's go with true and false then a simple form of multiple choice question with just two choices true and false add one question is getting added everyone okay category is yeah this is the course we are doing uh, we are adding it to the course we can decide okay we can make it specifically dedicated to this category so that this question remains as this unit only later on it will help you a lot because you are adding questions to a particular category what is the name of the question and what is this question name is what name of the question doesn't mean the what you say you can make it one suppose you are, you are just giving it question number one this is the question text we are lea learning music in this workshop this fall down how many marks i'll say this is a 99 marks question okay make it one what is the general feedback this relates to your presence here this is general feedback which will come to the person whatever they people do like this is not about being wrong or right correct answer means false feedback response is true now th these are the things this is the feedback which goes to them correct answer is what what is the correct we are learning music in this workshop can you people tell me false is correct or true is correct false is correct okay false is correct and if someone says true or I can like uh, put an image also uh, as, as a response if someone gives a reply and like a funny memes or something can also be uploaded like suppose I go to this and I go to the stock of images and in that I go to some image and then I make some image which is going to just tell the person what are you doing okay which 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 one which one which one okay i'll bring this cat just to just to respond if someone goes wrong okay but i'm going to make it very small small like uh, i can make it some e50 type of thing this is the size no i can make it 100 then like these things until you understand the formattings now this is rewind the tape and try again so this thing will come when someone feedback for the response true feedback for the response false. correct and you can check the time is 12 43 now we are left with two minutes before that if we are able to add one question so we'll be happy so let me add a happy response uh, to them the happy response will be will be will be will be will be will be what can be the price just get just 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 scrolling through different things yes okay we are bringing a happy child now make it a uh, hundred because uh, four, four uh, six forty and four twenty six is the format in which I have downloaded this description not necessary save the image multiple time multiple tries penalty for each incorrect try now see everyone have with penalty do you want like when questions are run using interact 
active with multiple tries or adaptive mode behavior so that the student will have several tries to get the question right then this option controls how much they are penalized for each incorrect in try you, you want to know that in uh, say negative marking so negative marking is probably possible so we'll say penalty for each minimum is one so and we we don't generally use it or think of it and save changes and continue i'll say save changes and we are left with only one minute my dear friends and this is the question and this question let me if this is only one question let me make it uh, okay we'll keep it 10 because we're going to add more questions to it this is one question that we have added to the quiz you can see editing quiz one this question has been added to the quiz itself and if i go to the quiz i can show you that this quiz has been added you can see attempts allowed to back to the course the quiz is not currently available but now the quiz doesn't have edit quiz option because there is one question added ek sawal that is one question is there to be just because of that question the, this is ready to be taken this is 1245 now can you see attempt quiz now if you can see attempt quiz now has appeared at 1245 because it was timed please type yes or no it means you people are walking along that's the best thing now i can attempt the quiz now but before attempting let me add more questions to the quiz how can i add more questions to the quiz i can go add new question and let me add uh, short answer no numerical i don't want to add essay type question i can add to the same quiz it means you can make one question paper completely objective subjective this drag and drop into image and all these things are there description is there short answer is there select missing words is also there so these things are possible and these are further you'll say explorable things for you for the next 3 days i'm introducing you to to this storehouse of options let's go to multiple choice and i am adding manually one question added manually question name let me make it two because if i am going to like sub, going to give it these values uh, in the stock in the in the main stock of the site these questions will appear with the same number what is this now which default marks i'll make it five marks question general feedback i'm not saying anything we can leave it blank only uh, one answer only if i say multiple answers allowed it means it's a check box one okay these are the answers everyone five choices are minimum you can add more choices you can give eight options total and if you fill three only three will appear choice one choice one is moodle grade if i say that i'm going to give here partial grading is possible everyone minus 100% plus 100% or this thing is here you can see that these are the gradings i can give i'll say no grading to be given for moodle but you people can object that this is wrong actually moodle is something which is being taught choice number 2 noodle and i'm going to give 100% who will say noodle good why so suppose and this is the feedback which will appear now the third option is moocs grading none and someone who like i can give them partial grading also now this is music grading none but i want to add a response here just for the sake of like let's like say if someone chooses music and uh, if you remember we had told the person that this is not to be done okay let's bring panda 100 100 description not necessary and this is here not again and then choice 5 i'm limited and then i'll say save now you can see i have got two questions where in this 
here I have got two questions now if I click here you can see I can add from a question bank let me click on the question bank and uh, only two questions are there in the question bank you know because we have just added them this is the question bank of the unit this is the question bank of the unit I can select them and they will get added again but because I have already added them so I'm not touching it let me go to the to the to the bigger segment of this quiz thing here go to everyone I'm clicking here I am going to import when I'm saying import this is what opens let me go back let me go back what I'm doing is I have added two questions manually now I will show you how to how to upload the text file that you have prepared and those questions which are there in the text file will get added to the question bank and when they are in the question bank how we can bring them to the quiz first we are importing clicking here is the quiz topic one quiz here clicking on import and then you have to scroll please do scroll do dare to scroll and then go to import now things to be remembered and not to be repeated again and again are this is the format icon a i k e n is the format icon format for text file this these are the two things that you need to remember whenever you are uploading a t e x t txt file the notepad file it is the icon format which takes the simple format text file gift takes another format here it is this is the one that my programming html equation friends will be using like numerical essay type questions we can work on it we can find it i want you people to explore it in the evening and then share things with me because this might not relate to everyone first we are going with the simple things gift format we are not selecting icon we are selecting now nothing now let me go to the folder that i have let me go to the sample quiz file please you can see this this is the quiz file everyone what goes in the education section of your resume we say a name of the school which institute is organizing the fdp we say a which day is today today is i guess tuesday so let's make it wrong let's make it c it means anyone who will say sunday that, that is correct otherwise not and the name of the resource person is a let's see if i do if i delete this a this question will not be added error will be there and you can see everything is aligned to the left there is no space left on the left there is no space there is only one space here see space one space only i type capital a i put a bracket and then i press that thing and uh, pressing enter here means i have broken the statement and that is second statement not one statement so this is the document that i am going to upload i'm going back to the site everyone and here i click import here, from here choose file and let me go to the same folder which is by the name of uh, our college and uh, what is the, what was the name sample quiz file this is the file notepad file this is the icon of the file it says it is a text document you can see sample quiz file save as i'm not adding anything i'm making it creative commons because i don't mind if it, it it goes to someone in the future also these questions can be saved now you can see this everyone how we have done it we have gone to the course the topic the quiz after the adding to the quiz we went to the right hand side edit quiz and then we went to the bottom on the import thing and then we click import we can go to question bank directly and then import we can go directly to import these two options are there and under the import thing what we are doing is we are selecting icon format for text file attaching the text file and then importing import now it is coming to our lives now now you this ignore this particular thing and then you see these are the four questions that you had seen four questions it's green so there is no problem these are the four questions everyone what goes and they have just shown us this thing and this one two three four you can see it has been added by the site itself the machine has added it we don't need to give, make them question numbers now suppose you give them question numbers what will happen you have already selected random questioning so what will happen question number 3 will appear at question number 4 and then there will be a mess so continue and now this is a very important segment don't change any other thing but you can see these questions have come here 
these four questions can be seen by you but these questions do not these are default to ccwvt these are they, they they don't belong to a particular category let's add them let's select them all by clicking here or selecting let us add them to uh, uh introductory and then move to introductory because they now they belong to that category you can keep them separate also now sub, and they, they these have been added to that category now these are there in my bank now what do i want to do i want them to be added to my quiz it is done i am closing it now here fine two questions were added by us let me go to add from a question bank from question bank bank means the one which is at the site now if you can see that those questions have come to the question bank please type yes and if you can understand this thing that what we have done we have uploaded a text file and those four questions have appeared here and you can actually see it why the statements are coming in double because the title statement that is 1 2 3 have come together but don't worry when you will click on this plus only the question will get added to the quiz they, these two questions have already been added these two questions have already been added so if i click on what goes in the education segment what is the name of the resource person what day is today what day is today added this added what day is today added this from the question bank which one this one add to quiz okay now this is coming to the quiz now these so you can see one more question i will add which one by the way we have added organizing fdp in this multiple choice thing like you can you can add a random question you can you can select the complete category also like default category 6 default category like we are we are working on this thing quiz 1 trial introductory and then you can add them add random question so it will come like it will it will jump to your 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 quiz like all the questions have come trial introductory see all the questions What, because we had added them initially to the category all the questions have appeared now now the quiz will have questions yeah, which which are sort of doubled now let me go back to the quiz saving it save Five plus one six plus seven eight nine. So it is a nine marks one. So if I want to change something for this or this, let me make it four. But I have to press enter. Wherever pencil is there, I have to press enter, and I save it. Total marks are twelve, but maximum grade is ten. Now this is editing the quiz. Let me go to the quiz now. whether i can attempt the quiz or not now can you see attempts allowed to this 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 let me attempt the quiz now it says the quiz has only 5 minutes time will count down time will count down from the moment you start your attempt and you must submit it before it expires are you sure that you wish to start students have got a choice they'll say okay we are ready now this is the quiz everyone this is the navigation and you can see this is the time as workshop we will say false let's say true which resource is being shared in this ftp let's go with suggest me please which resource which resource which particular thing we people are trying to learn what are we learning moodle music books noodle what are we learning okay this which day is today by the way okay we were supposed to click on sunday then which institute is organizing cc and then the resource person's name wrong finish the attempt now answers are saved do i want to return to attempt or not i'll say no i'm done with it it is not giving me the results though but i can submit and finish once you submit you will no longer be able to change your answers time left 3 minutes everyone can you see this can you see what response has come rewind the tape and think again this relates to your presence here the correct answer is false moodle why so because we we made it wrong noodle was was there and then what day is today sunday we had corrected it so whatever we had saved is coming correct now this is wrong so this is what has come in uh, 
start a new preview so two questions are correct and one is wrong start the attempt we are the admins we are the bosses music true noodle yes sunday yes ccw yes to which question we had added that thing please check it and then i'll yes uh, username bt1 first name last name email id yeah this is fine i'm using it and these two users uh, are going to be added and i can make it uh, as many users as i want abhinay and sabitha these are the names which have been placed here email id i go to file i go to save as i go, select my folder where it is going to land excel workbook is going to be changed into csv comma delimited and then i'm saving it now it is being saved yes i'm going to keep using the format and this is closed opening our site and then everyone coming to the site now please see we have added quiz through add activity and then quiz and then edit and then import questions or add questions individually but users 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 are going to be added in site administration you go to site admin go to users site admin go to user upload user so what it is site administration you go to site administration you go to users and after users you go to upload users so this is what like i am talking about when you click on upload users it will ask you that you can easily bring a file now you upload user now upload choose a file upload a file this is easier than the quiz thing and this is moodle users this is the file csv now this is csv you can see and then upload no file okay file is not attached because i clicked and removed it now moodle csv upload everyone moodle csv is ready to be uploaded uh, users are uploaded preview rows if you have got more than 10 more than 10 please see if you got more than 10 rows in the csv you can select it up to 10000 means 10000 users can be added in one go 10000 users will be visible see email id is not valid now let me go to the same file that i had opened if email id has got an error yes email id email id has got an error why email id email id id should not be the word it has to be email only now see these are the common errors these are the mistakes that which are which are going to like uh, like stop us every every single minute let me open it i'm not taking any other csv from anyone i'm correcting it i just corrected this is email last name first name username i'm not adding email id here choose a file upload a file Moodle users. Everyone, can you please see this thing? Can you post a yes or a no? Because the error was email ID. ID was written. The Moodle is programmed to bring users with the column names, and if the column heading is changed, it will not be able to recognize what is to be brought. So what we have brought is BT one. first name last name email id first name last name email id what we have done is we went to site administration after site administration we went to users under the users we went to upload users we went to upload users and there we where there we attached the file that we had created as a csv file csv file with the headings username first name last name email and please see this you keep skip existing users means the same csv file can be used throughout uh, the the session create password if needed and send via email let's keep it because we have not given a password it is possible for you and me to give a password we are not learning that thing for now we say moodle site will create a password and will send an email 
now create password if needed and send via email okay we are not changing any other thing i can make it c a u v e r y the the place i'm just changing and uploading the users now i have used it from one of you please check with these two email ids if they get an email they will get an email that they have been added they will be able to log in but because i have not added them as participants they will not be able to see anything let's go back to the site uh, can i can i see okay you have uploaded now the procedure is being shared with you now let me see okay 200 is there just give me one more minute that i just want to add them as participants i have added users i repeat i have added users what i have done is csv file uploaded in site administration under the site admin user upload user uploaded the csv file now what i am doing is i am going to my course my course is which course like i have i have made two courses so which course i want them to be added to i want them to be added to kaveri college for women vt workshop if i add them to this course they will be participants in this course only they can be they can be on the site as users but they cannot access any other course in this course i want to add them the moment i have opened this course you can see that the word participant has come here can you see the word participant on the left hand side yes no participant badges competencies grades i i don't mean to say whether you can see it on my site i want you can you see it on your sites that you had made there is a word called participants the word is participants i'm clicking on participants when i click on participants here it is everyone no participant at all no participant at all and the easiest thing click on enroll select these are the people whose email ids have been saved on this site from in the previous time also like in the last workshop some people were added now can can somebody type those two names it is possible to add them together also what i'm going to do is i'm taking this email id and one more name was there abhinay and sabita okay abhinay is yes these two people have been added as students and what do you want them you want them to be student teacher non editing teacher or a student i'm i'm making them students okay fine and then i'll say from which day they should have an active access i'll say they should have this time is 119 and their access should start now enroll the users have become my students now these are the two students this is active active status i can delete them i can change the same roles also and i can click here and you can see what the people have done their grades and everything will be visible to us these two are requested to access and drop in the whatsapp group the moment they receive an email with a temporary password change your password also i can click here and change the role i can add this person as a student as well as as a, as a teacher also so this is what i had to talk to you i you can enroll users but these users should be added previously as users you can add them as participants as students but they have to be added as users through site admin upload users